Hi and welcome to this Garden Gnome Software screencast. This screencast is going to look at how to use the error console found in most web browsers. Starting with Safari, we need to first turn on the develop menu. So in the Mac version, it's Safari, Preferences, then we go to Advanced, and then we select Show Develop Menu in the menu bar. For Safari on Windows, to turn this on, press Settings, Preferences, and Advanced, then Show Develop Menu in menu bar. Moving back to the Mac, and now we've got our Develop in the menu bar, what we can start doing is looking at errors. I've gone to a link, and instead of seeing a panorama or an object image, I've got this link telling me to download the Flash Player. Well, the Flash plugin is already installed into my browser, so what's going on? Well, we can use the Develop menu to find out. So click Develop, Show Error Console. You see it just flickered there. What I need to do is refresh the screen by just resizing the window, and there it pops up. What it's telling me here is 404 file not found, and the file it hasn't found is the swiftobject.js file. Basically, I didn't load that up on the server, therefore the Swift file can't be embedded into the web page and I get this particular error. Okay, let's move on to a different fault. Um, again, still on the Mac, but this time around we're using Firefox. I've gone to a link, um, the first node of a, a virtual tour has opened, um, but when I click on the hotspot, nothing happens. What we can do again, use the error console to try and find out what's going on. Um, so if I click Tools, Web Developer and web console you'll see the console window opens if I hit the refresh basically I'm um, it's it shows you all the commands and all, and all the files that have been loaded um, if I now go to the hotspot and click it what I'll get now is as you can see I've got a 404 saying file not found and the reason why the files not been found is if you look I've got these all these forward slash in my file path except for here and I've got percentage 5c now this is the URL encoding for a backslash. So this is sort of telling me that I've put the wrong slash into my hotspot editor. So if we minimize this and then go to the project file, let's open up Pano2VR, uh, click on the hotspot editor, and let's have a look at the hotspot and what I've put in the URL field. And there it is, a backslash. And that's what's stopping the hotspot from finding the next Swift file. Let's move over to Firefox on the PC. Again, we've got the um, first node of the tour opened up, but this time round we're going to click the drop down box, uh, Web Developer, Web Console. We get the same thing, um, we hit the refresh, we see all the loaded files, and if we now go to the hotspot and click it, you can now see that we've got 404, file not found, and we've got the same percentage 5c which is our URL encoded backslash. Staying with Windows then, um, this time around we've got a different link and a different browser. We now moved over to Google Chrome. Uh, you can see the panorama's opened and when I click the hotspot again we're not going anywhere. Um, to find this one out what we do is we click the customize button, we click tools and even though it's gone off screen develop tools. You can see the console opens up at the bottom. The best thing to do is click refresh just to clear all the screen down and then when we click the hotspot you can see it's now saying 404 file not found and the file it's actually looking for is pano underscore 02.swift now this is what this hotspot is looking for that I would have put into the hotspot editor of pano 2 vr and basically what I've done is I've used a capital P the file that I've uploaded has got a lowercase p therefore it can't find it. The thing to note here is on the desktop, so using it locally and using the built-in web server of Pano or Object 2 VR, this will all still work. It's not case sensitive. It only becomes case sensitive once it's all uploaded to the server. Staying with Chrome, but this time on the Mac, um, I'm using the same link, uh, but this time around we would click View, Developer, Developer Tools. That opens up the console. If I click the hotspot, you can now see 404 file not found and the capital P of the pano underscore 02.swift. If we have a look at the project file for this, you can see that the project or the file's name is actually uh, lowercase. However, 
with um, using it on the desktop it does work as I say with the desktop and, and running through the web server it's not case sensitive so it will work it only becomes case sensitive when you upload it to the server so definitely one to watch out for to finish up what I want to do is go back to Windows and look at Internet Explorer 9 um, Internet Explorer 9 or IE 9 as it's known is a little bit odd as it um, as the plugin the flash plugin doesn't communicate with the browser and what I mean by that is if we look at our last error that had the capitalization error um, if I click the hotspot obviously it doesn't work if we have a look at the console by opening up by clicking tools and going to developer tools you can see the console here let's do a, a refresh to clear the screen and if I click the hotspot I don't get anything appear here um, that's because as I say the information within the web uh, the flash plugin is not communicating to the web browser if we go back to the first error that we had which was to do with um, not having a certain file loaded um, you'll see that it does indeed work so it can detect that the uh, Swift object JS file is not loaded but anything to do with inside the flash player um, IE9 will not detect and show you what's going on. Anyway, that's the um, tip for using error consoles, and thanks for watching.